Dave Brown right along ringside. By golly, we are just sitting ready and waiting for the action to get underway. David. Opening match today. We're going to have a six-man tag team match in here. And on one side of the ring, you will have Harley Davidson, Dirty Rhodes, and Bugsy McGraw. Is that is big, huh? That is Ooh. a big team in what should be a big opening match today. Then, a little bit later on, tag team action. Rick Rude will be uh, teamed with uh, Jim Neidhart, uh, the big former football player. Then it'll be the king, Jerry Lawler, teamed with the universal heartthrob, Austin Idol. Humongous will be here on Championship Wrestling today. And eight-man tag team action coming up. Jimmy Hart's Fabulous Ones and the PYT Express all on the same side of the ring in that one. I just can't believe that when we put those first three in there. I don't know when we're going to have a ring left to go <laughs> ahead and ring make it. <laughs> oh, Okay. We're going to take time out. We want to see Bugsy McGraw, Dirty Rhodes, and Harley Davidson on one side of the ring. We'll be back in just a moment. With championship wrestling, the action uh, should be most interesting. We've got one side. I'll tell you, if it's if you just went by pure weight, Dave, uh, don't even ring the bell. <laughs> just, just give it to Rhodes Davidson and Bugsy McGraw. What a colorful team. Let's have the official announcement. All right, six-man tag action. Introducing at a total weight of 686 pounds over here on the uh, left side of your screen from Jackson, Tennessee, Rooster Cogburn. From Parts Unknown, the A-team, uh, number one. And from Memphis, Tennessee, Keith Robertson. And going against him at a total of 859 pounds. 859. 859 pounds, right. From Austin, Texas, Dirty Roads. From everywhere, Harley Davidson. And from Florida, Bugsy McGraw. Yeah, and it looks like the Bugs is starting out against the A-team member. And the bell sends him off and run it. And Bugsy kind of coming in for a landing there. <laughs> he had his wings out and he was gliding into uh, the A team member. <laughs> and that's the biggest of the group on this side of the ring, Dave. It is, and he's flying and landing hard. Rooster Cogburn. He's about the size of Harley's thigh. Harley Davidson tying it up with Rooster. But not for long. Boy, he fired him back so fast you saw it. He did a flip completely all the way over the back. Referee Jerry Calhoun watches the big slam. And there's a tag on Dirty Roads. Keith Robinson tying it up with Dirty. Uh-oh, top rope broke. Oh, boy, and the thing I hate about that, that can kill your back, too. Whoa. He went down, Dirty on top of him. Could be a pin. Nope, he picks him up. Tags uh, Harley Davidson. We have a top rope that's out of commission. Give you Harley idea. back in with Rooster. Give me an idea of some of the power, some of the weight there. There's down to three. Yes. Got it. Looks like that bolt just snapped that uh, was holding that top rope in. Uh, we'll give him an opportunity. Uh, we got some uh, tapes that I'd like to show. We'll give him an opportunity to get that uh, fixed in there. As no surprise, it was the team of Davidson Rhodes and uh, Bugsy McGraw that came out victorious. And uh, how long, Dave? Time was a minute 35. A minute 35. Okay. You want to see the, uh, Harley and uh, Dirty Rhodes in action against uh, a pretty rugged team. Take a look at this as they went against PYT.
right in behind. Bangs away on Dirty Rhodes, and he's got him back in the corner, and Stagger Lee going after him. Referee Jerry Calhoun pulled away as Stagger Lee takes over from the corner, and now the referee coming in to get Stagger out of there. Stagger and Norvell take a couple of shots from the Texan. I guess he got it from Hart. I didn't even see it. Neither did the referee. Dirty's down, but there's no count. Harley Davidson comes in. The referee trying to get him out of there. Jimmy Hart up in the corner to holler at the referee. Dirt, Dirty getting back for that powder. And Stagger slammed him with that cane, I guess. I see it broken. One, two, three. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there was so much going on that it was very difficult to keep up with everything mm -hmm. that happened. And obviously, you can see it here. He did, in fact, take or the cane game. and bang. And if that's the way you want to get a win, well, of course, people say any win's a good win, but I don't know. We're going to take time out. we got a lot of action lined up for you today. Be right back. Oh, just checking over the uh, matches lined up today. we got lots of action in here. This is not what I was talking about. But it's pretty difficult to uh, run through a day without having Mr. James Parr, president of the first. You know what? I feel great. You know what? A good pep talk last week. It looks like you did a little bit of good, didn't it, Lancer, baby? Yeah. But you know what? My man Ox is just a little bit down, and he's got something he wants to talk about right now. Tell him, big man. You know, Jimmy called me from South Africa, and I actually had a lot of plans for this summer in other areas. But he said, I want you to beat up on this here Jimmy Lauer, right? So I come here to try to beat this man up and destroy him, and I find out the humongous embarrassed him. I can't believe how bad he embarrassed this Jerry Lauer. Mr. <laughs> Neidhart here has beat him up. A There's not much of Lauer left for me. I mean, it's just sort of embarrassing for me to come all this distance to beat somebody up, and he looks like he's, like, passe. He's faded out of the picture. I but you know, count him out yet, Ox. Well, all I can tell you, if there ever is a piece left after Jim gets through with him and humongous... Ox Baker will still be waiting around for you. Okay. Right, baby. But let me just say something else right now. You know, this man right here, Jim Neidhart, baby, is a breath of fresh air for the first family. You the match last week. It was great, baby. He left six of your top wrestling stars laying all over the ring. He humiliated them. He, he, he embarrassed all of them. And I just want to say, baby, from me to you, Oakland is number one, just like you are, big man. What a superstar you, in the Jimmy. future, Thank baby. You, Woo! you see this hat right here? I see the rain. Can you see that? Can you see that out there? This is the Oakland Raiders, yep. the winningest football team of all time, right. the Oakland Raiders. Coach Flores, the head coach of the Oakland Raiders, said, Jim, come on over here. I want to talk to you. He said, Jim, I don't want you to ever worry about anybody's reputation on the football field. because It means nothing once you get out there and face them one-to-one, -one, nose to nose. So I... Uh, Shut up! So I applied, I applied this strategy to chumps like Waller. Mantell, Tommy Rich, and this little punk Gilbert. <laughs> and you'll see what I'm talking about and how I applied Coach Forrest's strategy in just a few moments. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to show the tape, and Do I it, want baby. everybody to. Seeing is believing, baby. A picture's worth a thousand words. Can y'all wake up upstairs and roll the tape, baby? Look at this. You won't believe this. Fires him into the ropes. And he's slipping by. Sleeper, that's a big neck to try to wrap around. Awfully hard. Once you get it, though, you've got some pressure points to work on. But Rude comes in from behind, drops an elbow after he took the tag from Neidhart. And he takes over. Tag, Tommy Ridge. Wildfire. Ah, oh, what a bad break. The referee, with a distraction taking him away, did not see the tag. off as Rick Rude comes over. Dougie, the youngest member of the Wrestling Gilbert family, and 
Dougie just a youngster trying to get Brother Eddie out of there. The referee knocked down, and the referee says, ring the bell. It's going to be a disqualification, no question about that. Ten minutes, 22 seconds. The Fabs will retain the belt. But can Eddie breathe much longer with that rope wrapped around his neck? Dougie trying to get that uh, those ropes undone, but he's twisting him. Neidhart slamming Tommy Rich. Disqualification on the anvil and Rude. And again, Doug Gilbert up there trying to pull the ropes apart. The referee slapped down by Rick Rude. something in the ring and rude I know how they feel but that's a sure invitation to trouble on their part Gilbert is really tied in that rope Doug trying to pull him apart he's just no match for the way those ropes are twisted up
comes the idol. He goes after Neidhart. Rich is down. Mantell is down. Lawler's bleeding. Umonga's taking care of him. Here comes Macho Man Randy Savage with a ball bat. Slams idol in the head. for the official introduction. This Dave. is going to be one fall, 10-minute time limit. At a total of 506 pounds over on the right of the screen from Memphis, Tennessee, Jim Jamison and his partner from Chicago, Mad Dog. At a total of 512 pounds from Reno, Nevada, Jim Neidhart. And from Beverly Hills, California, Ravishing Rick Rude. One fall, 10-minute time limit. Jimmy Hart and Rick Rude's valet Angel over in their corner. Big Jim Neidhart will be starting out for him, Dave. And Mad Dog on the other side. 
It's going to be called Sad Dog, baby, when Nightheart gets through with him. I promise you that, man. Yeah, well. There you go. Beautiful. Nightheart picks him up, just muscles him across the ring. And Mad Dog is no little package either. He's uh, he's pretty good size fella. Nightheart just dumped him over. Now Rude takes over. How about that? Beautiful. Look at that, 360 Ooh. pounds, baby, Mad Dog, and he was picked up like he was just a sack of flour. Not what do you think? Quite, Jim. What do you think? Quite. Come on, man. I know what I think. I wish you'd go over and sit down in the chair. That's what they put it there. Big elbow. Oh, yeah. Dandy of an elbow from uh, Rick Rude. And he did catch him with the upper arm. It wasn't the point of the elbow, so uh, it was legal. Big forearm slamming down from Neidhart. He's a rugged one. This guy, uh, he's a first-class street fighter, whether he's in the ring or out of the ring. Hammers Mad Dog into that top turnbuckle. Jim Jameson leaning up over the ropes to get a tag. Mad <laughs> get Dog. A tag? He's trying to get out the door, man. He ain't about to try to get look at him. He can't hardly. There's a the tag. Oh, Jameson coming comes. in. There he is from the Jerry Lawler School of Wrestling. Jimmy Jameson. Look at him, baby. There he Jameson is. Jameson taking a couple of big <laughs> forearms from Rick Rude. Pound down hard. Dumped go, him baby. off tag in the in. corner. Tag, tag to Jim Knight. Teamwork, Russell. What do you think? Teamwork, Russ. I'll tell you what I think, Jim. Some other time. <laughs> look at Angel. Doesn't Angel look beautiful over You know, oh. she ought to be the first lady of the first family. What do you think, Russell? Well, I think you've got a point there. <laughs> As a matter of fact, since she's the only lady in the first family, I believe, uh, or she's the only female in the first family. Come on, guys. In the air. This double team, David. Bam. Well, I tell you, Rude and Knight are really working well as a team yep. here. As uh, if their size weren't enough, ooh, Jameson just dumped on that top rope and I mean, he back dumped him from all the way up in the air. And Rude has got a lot of height on him himself. The body he slams. slams. <laughs> Here's Neidhart coming in. The anvil. He's up on the middle rope. Springs off of there. The bottom of the boot right across the chest. Pressure. Tag made on Rick Rude. Neidhart. Come on, Jimmy. Yeah, Night Art springing him into Rick Rude. And I don't think Jameson's going to get up from that one. Well, Rude's going to pick him up by the hair. Well, I tell you, I admire Jim in this respect. He, he keeps coming back. It's a tough way to, to learn uh, the trade of professional wrestling. Rude gets a one, two, three. That's pretty well then. Yeah. After the reverse neck breaker, but I don't think he even really needed it. Now Mad Dog in there and Rude and Neidhart both jumping him. Uh, come on, come on, come on, Jim. Get him out of there. Boy, they get somebody hurt. They love to beat on him. And there's Neidhart again. No excuse in it. Neidhart. Rick Rude come up with a victory. Mad Dog Jim Jameson. Okay, we're going to take time out. we got some more of it coming up for you. We're going to see the King and the Idol together in just a moment. Okay, we're waiting right now for the opposition. We have the Panther team, uh, the Pink Panther and the Black Panther. And I'm not sure their chances are too great today, Dave. They're going against a powerhouse team, the King and the Idol. They are indeed in a one-fall, ten-minute time limit match. 492 pounds total weight over here on the left of the screen. The Panthers from parts unknown, the Black Panther and the Pink Panther, and going against them at a total of 474 pounds from Las Vegas, Nevada. The Universal Heartthrob, Austin Idol. His partner from Memphis, Tennessee, the King, Jerry Lawler. One fall, 10 minute time limit match. Referees, Jerry Calhoun. Look at him. We have not seen the Black Panther before. The Pink Panther we have. He's got that unusual stripe right down the, the middle of his hair and his sideburns. Uh, He'll be starting it out, so he's going with the king, and here we go. All right. Black Panther starting against Jerry Lawler. Uh, you're right, an unusual hairstyle there. Kind of a uh, 
A reverse takeoff on the Mohawk. I guess. Sort of. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Boy, Panther nailing Lawler with a right hand a couple of times. He better watch out to him. Uh -huh. He runs under the boot. Lawler set himself. Panther went in there mighty quick. And Lawler was ready for it. And now he's paying him back a little bit. Yeah. Rod says, go ahead. And the King using that right hand. Black Panther now has to be giving a second, third, fourth, fifth thoughts to using the fist against the King. Here's Idol. He doesn't slow down either. He throws Black Panther right out of the ring, down onto the floor. Idol picking him up, head into the ring post. Pink Panther dancing around the ring, but the action's down on the floor. Now Austin Idol rolls the Panther under the ropes, follows him into the ring, picks him up. Pink Panther in the air. Idol drops him across the knee with a kind of a half backbreaker. Idol to the corner, the tag. Lawler coming in. Pink Panther coming in as uh, the Black Panther. Got the corner and the tag. King watching his back. Good move as Panther was climbing back up on the uh, on the apron. Pink Panther. Oh. Well, the Pink Panther I don't think went to school on what his partner had done because he threw the fist at Lawler and Lawler answered with a fist. Pink Panther came over to the corner to tag the Black Panther after that shot, and Black Panther says, ooh, ooh, uh-oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, hold not, it. Not yet, uh -huh. <laughs> Not yet, buddy. Panther, again, throwing that right hand against the king. Lawler hanging on, reverses. Now beats the Panther out of there with a body drag all the way across the ring. Panther holding his bag as he gets back to his feet. Baller with the backdrop on the Pink Panther. Austin Idol takes over. Round behind the Panther. He picks him up. Oh, look out. Power knee drop. Oh, and the Panther hits and bounces over the top rope. He was not thrown over now. It's not a disqualification. He bounced over there after his feet had been slammed into the mat with a knee drop by Idol. Black Panther says, you're doing fine. Get right back in there. Pink Panther picked up by Idol. Slam. We're going to be seeing a match a little later on with the Idol going against Macho Man Randy Savage for the International uh, Heavyweight Championship. Uh, I think it's kind of uh, maybe a tip-off as to why Idol is so doggone irritated today. Boy, he has really worked both of these guys over when he's been in there. He's a tough son of a gun. The King back in after the tag. Ooh. Panther runs into the upper arm. Lawler with a drop kick. King doesn't use a drop kick too much. He didn't quite catch him right. There. Now he got him with it. Boy, let me Nailed tell you, he got him with that second one. He uses that a lot, and it usually works. And it has worked this time. Count of three, and this one's over. Three minutes, 57 seconds. Their hands raised. Austin Idol, Jerry Lawler with a win. And right now, with it over, and the Black Panther hops back in to help his partner. That's the first time he's been back in since that unfortunate experience he had a little bit earlier in there. So, the Black Panther and the Pink Panther meet the... Uh, decision and verdict that uh, accompanies most of them tell you what let's do right now let's take a look at the uh, the final result uh, of it right here as the king comes sailing off the ropes and he's down on top one two three and that's it winners of the fall yes. impressed over that are y'all impressed what you just saw that was nothing baby this is humongous the greatest warrior of all and we're going to prove exactly what it's all about in the ring right now well, that's what we brought the uh, ring up for today, uh, Jimmy, so that may come as a surprise to you. Humongous, he is every bit of that, the original Road Warrior. Huge, and we're going to go right ahead on into this one as uh, he'll be facing uh, Keith Eric. All right, Dave. All right, Keith Eric from Memphis, Tennessee. Humongous. 
from Hollywood, California, 304 pounds. Keith Eric weighs in at 221. You know, Russell, how many times have I come out here in the last five years and said, I found the greatest wrestler in the world today. You know, 10,000 comedians out of work and you're trying to be one. Let me tell you something, baby. This is humongous. I can't wait for all the fans all over the world to see this man. Oh. Look at him. Look at him, baby. You summed it up. Oh, right there. Look at him. A superstar in wrestling. Boy, he just tagged in, Dave, with a couple of clotheslines. That's all of it. It's over, baby. Forget it. Oh, God. Night. With no disrespect to Keith Airy. Look out for the broken pieces come flying around. Humongous. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's irritated about. I hate to see if he loses. Yeah. <laughs> well, he won. What was what was the time? On 34 that? seconds, and probably could have wrapped it up in 15 after he nailed it over here on the on the ropes. He Boy, that first clothesline you're talking about. Good night. He just absolutely almost took his head off. And then turned right around and fed it back to him again for another diet. And all it was a matter of getting a one, two, three after that. Humongous, the original mm -hmm. Road Warrior. Most impressive on a quick win over Keith Airy. We've got more action. We're going to be seeing that Idol Macho Man uh, highlights coming up in just a moment as well as the Fabs in the PYT. We got an eight man eight coming man up. Action, so let's yeah. shut up and get under the break and we'll be back in just a moment. Yeah. Okay, we got an eight man coming up, but before we get into it, I uh, wanted to get the Idol out here. And uh, we're going to be showing you. Uh, Tape International Heavyweight Championship bout as Austin Idol comes out. We'll get to that uh, tape with uh, Macho Man in just a moment. I know it affected, I could see in there today, you're pretty determined in there today. To say the least, Lance, you know, and uh, I think rather than expounding upon, about this thing any longer, I'd just like to go ahead and trim the fat and get to the meat of the matter. And I guess the way to do that is by go ahead and let's show the film because I want to see it back myself, Lance. Yeah, okay. Let's look at some of the highlight versions of the bout. This is an international heavyweight championship match. Off title, Randy Savage. Macho man Randy Savage with a ball bat slams Idol in the head. Getting desperate now, trying to work his way up. His brother helping him as he gets out of it. But Neidhart puts him halfway back. What you are looking at is the end. That is that big rhubarb. Now, this is very important because Savage and his corner folks, uh, Angelo Papo and Jimmy Hart, said let's get it on right away while austin idol was hurt very important the bell is rung the match has started austin idol randy savage for the international belt boy there will be some criticism of that idol had been slammed around he was laying in the ring savage made him start the match start the match. Popo rang the bell himself. They're scheduled to be next. And as the ring cleared out, Savage just taking it. Idol is bleeding severely all over the face. Savage tore the shirt off of him. Idol is just almost out of it as the match gets underway. talking about an opportunist savage taking advantage of it slams idle into the top turn buckle oh man international belt on the line and so idle not through kicks out of it Savage in the rank, Austin Idol, who was never in condition to start the match. He didn't even have a chance to get up. I, Savage jumped him. 
Savage grabs him, slams him into the ring post. Should have never started it, Randy, and you know it. With Idol in the ring, he bangs him with it. Yeah, Slaughter. Idol slammed on the head and dropped. By something Popo had in his hand. One, two, three, and that's it. I had indicated we had the highlights of the International Heavyweight Championship match, but I, I think it was uh, unforgivable not to say what we showed was prior to the International Heavyweight Championship match getting underway. And it was very important because that, that macho man, Randy Savage, jumped off with a ball bat and nailed you with that thing. And, and set up the entire thing. Uh, it just, it was no excuse in it. Well, it sure did, Lance, but you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and cry over spilled milk. Uh, the facts are it was a bad day for the home team. Mm, really? But, I, but I, want, I, want to, I want Randy Savage to know something. I'm going to try to, for just very briefly, to keep my voice down to a bare minimum so he can understand it. You know, he's the international heavyweight champion. I was supposed to defend that belt in, in a different area. He's got the belt. He's taking my shot. And, uh, and, and uh, listen, I mean, it's a fact, and everybody knows that it makes no difference what sport it is, whether it's professional wrestling, baseball, hockey, basketball, football, or what have you, on any given day, anybody or any team can be beaten. There's no question about that, and everybody should be able to admit that, and I admit it too. But the way I was knocked off there wasn't exactly uh, a clear-cut victory for Randy Savage, although I'm sure he's got a lot of things to say. I'm sure he's telling everybody all around the world. I'm sure he's called all his friends, both of them, and told everybody what a great big dude he is. How mean and tough he is! Now it's true, he started this whole thing off by wheeling me over the head with a Louisville Slugger! Now I didn't become the international heavyweight champion, darling, by selling papers on the street corner or by washing cars, which is cool too! I won it by traveling to Tokyo, Japan, by beating Terry Funk, former world's heavyweight champion, in the Sumo Palace in Tokyo, Japan, before 24 thousand people. I went a long way to get that belt. And if you think, Savage, for one minute, if I'm just going to lay down and play dead, Jack, you got another thing coming. Now he wants to play baseball. Randy Savage says, I had an opportunity to play pro baseball. Well, Donald, I'll play a little baseball too. And before this thing's over, true, I didn't look like the women's pet. But you're going to remember one thing, Savage, that I am the man's regret. And you're going to regret the day, darling, that you whack me over the head with a baseball bat. Because when I get done with you, I'm going to leave the imprint of Louisville Slugger right across your forehead. I'm going to stick you up one nostril and blow you out the other dog. And this ain't no giant jack. The idol. Boy, and I'll tell you what. <laughs> when he gets his opportunity to get a hold of Savage. It is gonna be some kind of competition because this idol has whacked a few people over the head himself in his time. What a tough battle. son of a gun. Okay, we have an eight man tag. A lot of hot air out there, baby, a lot of hot air, but I brought my warriors on, baby. Well, bring them on, Jimmy. We understand that. Mark Matthews, the new Fabulous one. Pork chop cage, says Parker. He replaces the dream machine. That is leg broken in a match with Jackie Fargo's fabulous one. Well, we have in the ring ring. Look at this, baby. The newest member of the first family. You know, I told you we've been searching all over the country, all over the world. And we found this beautiful Bart Batten, baby, along with Port Shop Cash, the PYT Express. We are ready, baby. All right, this is going to be an eight-man tag team match to the expiration of time. Introducing at a total weight of 877 pounds over on the right of the screen from Miami, Florida, Brickhouse Brown, from Liverpool, England, Scott Shannon. From Tennessee, Robert Crow. And from Memphis, Tennessee, is that yeah. Keith Eric over there coming back? Yeah, I think so. I can't see for all the PYT Express and everything. All right, but on this side of the ring, at a total weight of 902 pounds, 
Hart's Fabulous Ones, and the PYT Express. The PYT Express, Norvell Austin and Stagger Lee, and the Fabulous Ones, Pork Chop Cash, and Bart Batten. Bart Batten is out of Charleston, West Virginia. Beautiful Bart Batten, Jimmy Hart tells me. This one goes to the expiration of time. Quick look at him, Dave. Yeah, and uh, he, he is starting. This is Bart Batten. Beautiful Bart Batten, Jimmy Hart says. Boy, I hope the referee has uh, better luck keeping it straight up here than we did with the introductions here. Eight of them all together. Well, when you're trying to look through four guys as big as wrestlers are, it's pretty difficult to see who is coming in the ring on the other side. All right, Rick House, and Norvell hollering out a little personal uh, comment to Brickhouse Brown. Bart Batten over as uh, Brickhouse dropped down with a knee. There's a tag. And uh, coming right back to Brickhouse, tagging out to Scott Shannon. Pork chop. Pork chop. Fired right out with that uh, arm, nailing Scott Shannon. Look at it reverse. Nice. Big back drop, and pork chop is down. The Jimmy Hart's fabulous one starting out here with the Bart Batten. Oh, oh a cheap shot. I would have to say it was a cheap shot. Super midget. Not anything that Norvell hasn't done himself. That's okay. We just stopped Super Midget right there, baby. Look at him right there. Chop K. There you go, boys. Come on. There you go. Beautiful, Coco. Now, that is Lance teamwork. Came into the corner of the knee of Coco Ware, Stagger Lee, whatever. We got Shannon rolling back. Don't panic, don't panic, man. We're just trying, you know. Not me, Jim. You're the one doing the talking. In a big backdrop. Beautiful. That's okay. Hey, the family's tighter and stronger than ever. Look at this pork chop cash. I told you we were going to bring somebody Close super together in. together over here in the corner. Nobody oh, no. wants to get in with Shannon. Here comes oh, Doorbell. Hey, we're ready to get in. We're ready to get in. You know, like I said before, we got Dream Machine sitting at home right now, baby, with two pins in his ankle with a big silver plate there. He might be out six months, seven months. He might be out a year. But, baby, we get even from now on out. Robert Crow coming in, making his first appearance in the eight-man. And Norvell Austin going after him. Big slam is Norvell. Okay, we've had enough of this. Come on, guy. Take care of him. We're going to get him. Come on, baby. Oh. Zeroed in with that knee to the midsection. Trademark of Norvell. Look at that splash off the top as Coco comes down hard. And that is going to be that. And you know what, Russell, I didn't see Rick House Brown or Scott Shannon or any of those other slugs over there coming to help that poor boy. Did well, they you? don't jump in Did like you? your guys do oh, without a but tag. But they do throw fists, right? <laughs> yeah, they have done that. Guess you got to when you go against the first family in there. Ooh, goodness gracious, we had a lot of big action in there today, Dave. Oh, we did. Nothing unusual, though. <laughs> That's right. We had a six-man tag team match to start things off today with Bugsy McGraw, Harley Davidson, and Dirty Rhodes getting the win over Rooster Cogburn, the A-team number one, and Keith Robertson. That was just the opening match. Rick Rude and Jim Neidhart, oh, a powerful tag team, came in here. Really? And they defeated Jim Jameson and Mad Dog convincingly. It took them a little under three minutes to do it. Rude and Neidhart get the win. Jerry Lawler and Austin Idol, both a little bit upset today. They took the measure of the Black Panther and the Pink Panther in three minutes, 57 seconds. Humongous overpowered Keith Eric in about a half minute. It was Hart Spabs and the PYT Express then getting the win in the eight-man tag team match over Brickhouse Brown, Scott Shannon, Robert Crow, and Keith Eric. You know, Dave, it just seems to me that they're getting bigger every doggone month that goes by. We see some huge guys. Dave, hey, we had some big ones in here today. Tell you. Let's go. Ooh. We'll be back next week. Till that time for Dave Brown, Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program.